everyone. A ceremony commemorating the local region as a Purple Heart community is set to take place this Wednesday at Pibus Public Market. Here today with me is a local Purple Heart recipient, Leslie Butch Seiler. And Leslie, thank you so much for being here today. Before I get into any questions, I first want to thank you so much for your service. Thank you. I was going to go to college. I got drafted. <laughs> I uh, went in with a friend and he was said he was going to volunteer for the draft. And I was looking, standing there, and I was looking at this board, and my name was there. And I said, what's, it, what's my name doing here? They said, those are the people going out next week. I said, I, I, I thought I was going to college. And she says, you must not have notified us that you were going to go to college. I was going to go to the Fifth Street U. Well, so I was, said, I want to go with my buddy, <laughs> the guy I went in with. And uh, <laughs> funny part of it is, he didn't pass the physical. <laughs> I did. <laughs> and so back I come, and then all of this, Fort Lewis, Fort Polk, <laughs> Louisiana, and Vietnam. <laughs> yeah, tell us a bit about your time in the service and what incident led to you being awarded a Purple Heart. Well, we were out on a mission, and uh, I think it was... Uh, probably the fourth, third or fourth, fifth mission out. And uh, by that time I had went from six man to, what we moved in a battalion force. We were Charlie Company and we were point for the battalion. In other words, we a lot of rice paddies down there. They'd line up in the back of us, uh, the other uh, companies. And uh, anyway, I ended up a, uh, on a four man point team. And we would trade it off. There was uh, Taylor. He was walking point the day we got into this mess. Uh, Garza was our 79 man, and Holm was our uh, two high. And uh, so, and me, a rifleman. And uh, anyway, we went out on this mission. Holm says there's a lot of, a lot of booby traps here. There's a sign there. and. The United States Army doesn't go around anything. <laughs> anyway, we uh, started through. Taylor took point. I was walking second man. He stopped as he was getting ready to go around a little bend in the trail, held up his hand. I turned to home, who was walking third man, and held up my hand for him to stop. And <laughs> it, uh, he took a step, and I was laying in a hole about that big, <laughs> and uh, it was it was strange. Taylor come running back to me, and he says, "Are you okay?" I said, "I'm fine." I says, "Go see how long it is." He uh, took the shrapnel. I just got a two inch cut on the bottom of my foot from the concussion, and crushed my foot. Uh, and that's about it. I mean, they medevaced me out, and then I was 10 days short of a year in a cast. Wow. <laughs> and I finally uh, got to the Veterans Hospital. They threw me out. I was unfit for military duty then. And uh, they got me over to the Veterans Hospital. Dr. Toomey put this thing together, and it's been a really good foot. The colonel at, the, at the Madigan, where I was for seven months, uh, wanted to cut it off. Major Travis says, I'm not gonna let him cut it off. And Major Travis has had a warm spot in my heart for years. But uh, yeah, no, I got over there and they finally got ready and put it back together, broke it up and put it back together. There was, uh, I went to, uh, from the aged boat or the barrack ship, to Saigon, to Camp Zama in Japan, and they pick bones out of it in each spot, except for the aid station. They didn't do anything there. That was just wrap it up and try to get the bleeding stopped. But uh, yeah, no, it was it was quite an experience. It ruined my whole afternoon. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing how vividly you remember it. You can tell oh, it was yeah. a... <laughs> it's pretty vivid. 
So just to inform our viewers who may not know, a Purple Heart is, an, is a military award for members of the U.S. Armed Forces who have greatly sacrificed themselves or given their lives to their service for their country. So walk us through the moment that you received your Purple Heart. What thoughts and emotions and things were you <laughs> going through in that moment of recognition? Well, I was laying in Saigon, and here come this full bird colonel. And I thought, uh-oh, you know, I start to set up, and I couldn't. But uh, anyway, uh, he says, no, no, son, just lay right there. And he handed me a Purple Heart, hooked it to my pillow. That was the first one. <laughs> and and uh, then they awarded me different ones. I got full, you know, cases of them and stuff. You have but, cases of them? Well, no, no. Uh, they come in a box, a, oh, an okay. awards box. Like a, one then, of those presentation yeah, they've boxes. they've got a lapel pin. They've got the ribbon. They've got the Purple Heart. So it's the same, it's for the same one award and you're kind of giving it in multiple. Absolutely, they, they kept sending them. <laughs> <laughs> I got them in the mail, I got them all over the place. Well, I had enough that I gave each one of my three daughters one. And uh, what else was on? Oh yeah, and a little picture and thing that, so it kind of, kind of turned out good. <laughs> so how did you feel when you received that? just to have that recognition of your service and that harrowing well, moment that you went through. You see, I always felt that if you got a Purple Heart, you made a mistake <laughs> because you either you didn't get hidden and got shot or else you end up on a landmine. And, and uh, so, yeah, I, I don't know. I guess I don't know that it, it really affected me in any emotional way by being given the Purple Heart. I was a little ashamed that I didn't finish my tour, uh, but uh, they threw me out. <laughs> I understand that you are planning on attending the Purple Heart Ceremony that will be at Pivus. Yes. So tell us a bit about your take on our region making an effort to designate us as a Purple Heart community. I think that's cool. I mean, there's a lot of us veterans that were, have Purple Hearts. I mean, and I, I was always impressed. I think Moses Lake is a Purple Heart city. And uh, first time I heard that, I thought, well, that's cool. But I never thought about it. Tony called me there the other day and says, hon, what do you think of about, you know, being able to get up and tell your story? God was with me. There's no way that people get on landmines and walk away. I hopped out on one foot. <laughs> 